All right, I'm going to talk about uh, Dallas, Texas, which is right here, um, home of J.R. Ewing and the Ewing family. Uh, I lived there for several years before I joined the Foreign Service, and uh, my favorite thing to do with uh, friends is I would have them come for the Texas State Fair, which I think is one of the largest state fairs in the country, uh, and it's always in September and October, so the weather's cooled off in Texas, it's not as hot, and um, it's home, this is a very big deal, it's home of the corny dog, not corn dog, the corny dog, and um, every year they have new fried foods, and uh, a few of the last years have been fried cookie dough, fried butter, chicken fried bacon, um, and you can always get a fried Snickers bar or a fried Oreo, so it's very American. Um, and it's very close to Dallas. They have, um, I think, the, if you're, you know, if you're from London, if you've done the London Eye, they have the world's, the largest Ferris wheel in the Western Hemisphere. So you'll feel just like you're in London when it's uh, 27 to 30 degrees Celsius in, in Texas. So yeah, that's where I'd recommend. And I had a lot of my friends who came and visited and had a really good time. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is in the northeast part of the state of Oklahoma. Well, of course, is the musical Rodgers and Hammerstein, Oklahoma. That's our state song. It's uh, probably the thing that we're uh, best known for. So Oklahoma sort of is right in the middle of the country, and it has this interesting sort of um, melting pot for southern culture meets sort of the Wild West and the frontiers uh, sort of cowboy mentality. So Will Rogers is uh, famously from Oklahoma. Um, we do. We have a lot of country musicians from Oklahoma. Garth Brooks, who's starting a world tour next year, from uh, just north of where I'm from in Oklahoma. Uh, Reba McIntyre, some of the greatest country musicians of all time from Oklahoma. Um, and there's a real emphasis as well. Oklahoma, I think, was the 47th state to um, become a state, so pretty late in the game because it was Indian territory. Um, so it's where a lot of uh, the Native American population lived for a long time. Um, so there's that influence as well. So there's a real sort of Western um, cowboy Indian uh, interesting culture in Oklahoma. So Oklahoma actually has more lakes than any state with a coastline has coast. So you can check me on that. I'm pretty sure that fact is accurate. There's lots of um, lakes in Oklahoma. So. Um, everybody sort of goes out uh, all summer and spends, uh, spends time on the lake. You can sail or boat or do, do things like that. And of course, if you're in Oklahoma, you have to eat. You have to eat great Tex-Mex food everywhere you can. And you have to have to have chicken fried steak when you're in the state of Oklahoma. Chicken fried steak. Oh, great. Well, my home is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque is the first, uh, New Mexico is the first minority majority state which means most of the people in that state trace their ancestry uh, to the Spanish who colonized it for hundreds of years or to the Native American people who, who still live there. The Navajo Nation is quite large. The Pueblo Indians are all there. So New Mexico is perhaps the most unique state, I would argue, in the lower 48. It's culturally fascinating. It's a blend of different cultures. We Anglos also have had a history there, but we realize that far before us you had the deep, the deep Spanish influence. The food, New Mexican food, it's not Mexican food. It's not Tex-Mex. They like different kinds of green chili. When you walk in a restaurant, it's always red or green. Christmas is what I order because that's red and green. Uh, Albuquerque is at 5,000 feet, high desert, beautiful sunsets, sunshine most of the time. The Sandia Mountains go to 11,000 feet. You can mountain bike, you can hike, you can enjoy the annual international uh, uh, balloon festival in October. It's perhaps the best place for ballooning in the world. Uh, and it's a fun place, whitewater rafting, uh, mountain biking, and the people are very engaging and outgoing. And it's a lot more than just Breaking Bad.